Or... All right, Terry and uh, Yoshi. Yoshi is one of the. These are actually both peak Wi-Fi Three, characters. Two, well, they're one, good, they're both good offline, honestly. Uh, but Terry has some pretty easy kill confirms, which is crucial if you're playing uh, Wi-Fi, especially like it's a showdown. Uh, jab jab into most things is pretty easy to get. Down tilt is also pretty good. Of course, his main weakness is the fact that if you run away and you don't engage to him. Uh, unless you have advantage, it can be really tough for Terry to actually do much. Yoshiki, on the other hand, has that really good aerial mobility. Uh, to the point that he is just able to just get into people with like, their space open and do absurd amounts of damage. And a really good conversion there off the down tilts from Marike. Uh, Jab Jab Power Dunk, of course, is a... Uh, People used to think that it was guaranteed when the game first, when he first came out, but it's actually pretty fifty and uh, pretty good up there. He used to stock. It's really crucial that you uh, that you kill Terry before you have a really good chance to take advantage of the uh, of his go meter, his little limit break. Okay, I can see that. I can see the read. Depo had his jump. He decided to use it there. Very nice. Terry does have options for killing opponents that are directly above them, but they're all major commitments. So generally, uh, a Terry will just wait for you on the stage if he has the option, and that's gonna kill. Uh, of course, Terry's up B is a charge move when you get the when using the the true version. Nope. And forward air. Yep. Okay, nice. I actually like that. Uh, I like that way that he, uh, that Enrique pushed his advantage there. Oh, we got some Yoshi combos. You want to do a little bit of damage at a time. You want to not try to push your advantage too much with playing this carry like this. Uh, but Dapo's doing a really good job of just pushing forward ever so slightly wherever he can. Not trying, not over committing. Enrique having he has go meter, but he's going. Sorry about that. We had some uh, some moderator stuff going on in the uh, tournament, but Daffo takes the first game. Good job. Just gotta make sure some things are going okay inside the bracket. Yep, looks like we're gonna get our first wave of DQs coming up pretty soon.
so overall, like that was actually really had like a very solid lead throughout that whole game. Uh, Enrique really needs to look out for the basic Yoshi stuff at the edge. Uh, Terry is a character that has a lot of burst movement, especially when he hasn't used his uh, his special moves to come back. But if he is um, if he uses any of those, he does not have any actual movement options afterwards besides trying to air dodge because he's committed to most of those moves for a good while. Uh, so you want to be super careful about using those at a range where Yoshi's going to be able to punish him. Okay, Lila, it's an interesting choice. Enrique. I'm not sure exactly what the motivation is to go to Lila over most stages. Uh, Terry's combos aren't really affected here. And his uh, his upbeat does hit through the bottom of the stage, but it doesn't really... There's no uh, specific reason that Yoshi would be hurt by this stage in particular. Oh, and we have a uh, we have a Terry with go. Now most Terrys once they get uh once they get oh my goodness. Yep, and Lilat's platform size is a very beneficial thing for Yoshi. Uh, if you get hit onto a platform, unless you, unless they mess up the timing or do not read your tech option, uh, they're most likely going to be able to pretty well there. Defo here, trying to get Spike. Not quite, not quite connecting it, but he was able to get a good combo just because Enrique had to air dodge in. Yeah, one of the major downsides of the stage is that if Yoshi is at the ledge, uh, you have to approach him going through those eggs. Uh, it's not really a good way to get past him who's throwing those eggs upwards. They are a little laggy though, so if uh, you're able to push through that. And that's uh, I think the third burning uh first side the third side move that uh Rike has gotten on Daffo's shield was really punished. I guess because he was expecting because Daffo was expecting the cross up. Yep, very nice. Very basic uh, Terry combos and barely avoiding the shield breaker there. I think he was going for Harry, but he was a frame early. And Daffo getting a pretty good up here to finish off the stock. And again, we have uh, Daffo with a full stock lead. And kind of a uh, little bit broken down shield. But Kenrike gets a. Uh, well, at this point, it's too late, but he got in a uh, side beat. Oh, wow. We finally have a pretty competitive game this week. Okay, interesting use of F-Smash there. Takes it to a uh, very nice on Dapo's part. Very well done. Yoshi wins! Yeah. Alright, guys, it'll be a second uh, until we get the next stream match up. Nope, oh, actually, no, I think I have something right now. So it'll be just a second. Guys, please remember uh, if you are going, if you're on the if you're on the stream setup or the stream arena, make sure to leave after you're done. 
नहीं 